Hey YouTube, Opinionated Reviewer here, bringing you guys a video on Data Usage Monitor. It's by Limnios, and it's in the Big Boss repo for $1.99. Now, basically what this is, it's a way of monitoring your data. Now, it's not an app that you have to go ahead and keep on checking. Basically, if you look up to at the top of my status bar, you're going to see that I have like megabytes up there flashing, and it says, it has like an arrow to point to say that it's down. So I have 23 points. 1 MB down and that's the data I've used thus far since I've uh, installed this tweet now it goes uh, whenever you're accessing the internet whenever it's using your data it's gonna go ahead and count or add up to monitor your data whether you're browsing the web you're watching YouTube videos now my internet on Sprint sucks so bad, yes, yeah, so, so bad, I can't even go ahead and like load up a YouTube video for you guys to see, as you can see it says cannot connect to YouTube and I have to sign in, that's how bad Sprint internet is for the iPhone 4S. I've, I've been using the tweak for at least an hour and a half, like on and off, but I've been, I turned off my Wi-Fi, I've been using it, and I've only racked up 23.1 megabytes because... <laughs> Because my internet isn't even that fast. It sucks. I'm, oh man, I'm going to go ahead and switch. But back to the tweak. So you guys can see there's a number of settings you can go ahead and configure. And settings. Let's go ahead and scroll down until we see data usage monitor right there. You can enable and disable the tweak. That's always a plus. It also monitors when you're on hotspot if you have this on. So if you're tethering, and you can see this is a message that comes up when you. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and explain that that just came up unexpectedly because I'm still using internet. So for personal hotspot when you're tethering, it's gonna monitor the data still. It, it's monitoring for 3G slash data usage. So whether it's 3G, 4G, whatever the iPad 2 gets a jailbreak or Edge, it's gonna monitor. And as you can see, the data limit uh, message that came up right there it's for this here we say cellular data limit you could go ahead and set a cellular data limit for my case it was 22 megabytes and here you can go ahead and display that message before disabling or you could just go outright and let it just disable your stuff so you see I switched it over and it just went ahead and just disable my cellular data so you see up to the top my 3G sign disappeared because my cellular data is over 22 megabytes. If you want to go ahead and ask before disabling, it's going to go ahead and give you the message before it disables your cellular data that you saw before. And you can go ahead and whatever you want to postpone it or you want to disable it. Here, down to the bottom, it's monitoring your cell usage. This is what I've used since I've had it. I've sent 3.5 megabytes. I've downloaded, I've received 23.2 MB. It's the same as you guys saw up there. And here is the lifetime usage I've used, I guess, since I've had my device. Because it's, it's using from inside here. Let me just go up. Uh, quickly general usage it's all if based on the stats that you have in here for cellular data it pulls that lifetime stats from there and as you can see I reset it both of them at the same time and this is what it has for her and down to the bottom nothing there and lifetime of you 15 hours it doesn't have it in minutes it only has it in megabytes so yeah that's basically it for this it's a nice cool way to monitor your data usage it's gonna always be flashing up to the top up there it disabled my damn thing <laughs> It disable it so you're not gonna see let me go but I don't even have to enable it because the video is basically done it's called data usage monitor cool way to monitor your data usage if you see here when you're using hotspot it also monitors as I said before no I'm just gonna leave that off and it's in the big box people for $1.99 it's a matter of preference if you want to get it or not with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day Make sure you show that thumbs up button some love. And if you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button above. Like my Facebook fan page and follow me on Twitter. I answer questions a lot faster on Twitter than I do on YouTube. Oh yeah, and check out my previous video if you haven't already.